Welcome to the Theory of Creativity. I'm Garrison and I'm here with Sarah and we're going to be talking about Flat Earth. Um, I'm going to be taking the stance of the Flat Earther and uh, Sarah is going to... Debunk um, everything that you say. Okay. Uh, do you want to start off on your... On why I don't think that the Earth is flat and why I that the Flat Earther Society is kind of in a shithole? Okay, go. Okay. So it's been proven over and over and over again By that who? the Earth is not flat. By who? Science. Okay, so you're taking their word for it? Yes. Why? Hold on. Hold on. I thought you said that I was going to explain what... And you said scientists. That's... Yeah, but now you're questioning me. What's their not question? <laughs> Hold on. I thought, okay. So are you going to let me explain? Oh, go ahead. Okay. So it's been explained over and over and over again that the earth is not flat. And there are many, many reasons to this. One being gravity, geometry, and the way that basically everything in the universe collects itself through astrophysics and how how things just gravitate towards each other. Now you can go ahead. So you mentioned gravity. Uh, even your uh, fuckboy, Neil, Neil Tyson. Um, He's he, married. He's not like a fuckboy anymore. Yeah, He's a bonafide gentleman. He doesn't even, he can't really quite explain how gravity works and what it is. That's still one of our biggest mysteries. Okay, you know what? I can agree with with you there because a lot of people think that gravity is a certain type of energy that basically just pulls in towards each other but the idea of gravity is that mass collects so you have mass i have mass you have gravity i have gravity there are certain types of energies that each of us pull towards each other and maybe gravity isn't the right word for it even isaac newton couldn't be like um it's like an unexplainable idea but he called it gravity that was the term for it the idea of it is that mass has an energy that pulls towards each other. Okay, so, and you mentioned geometry or something, right? Yeah. And you mentioned something else. What was that? Like gravity, geometry, and... Physics. physics. Astrophysics. Okay. Now, you're, okay, those, you're assuming that we live um, in a certain type of reality when, say, um, maybe one uh, created from God or by a simulation would yield um, flat Earth result, yes? A certain type of reality. Now, explain to me what you mean by that, because I'm not not sure what you mean so are you, are you talking about the reality that we live in now right because gra gravity um what, what if uh quote unquote gravity is just a certain uh, mechanism you use to keep us on the planet it is yes but it's not this all-powerful force it's just it's like a weak magnet just keeping our feet on the ground um basically what i'm saying is like we're in a snow globe and um okay there's no right so like, from like we're just some kid science project or god little experiment or something so is that like is that what flat earthers believe there's no gravity yet that there's no gravity yes, we have not been space that we've never been to space yeah. okay and that we live in a s mm -hmm. snow globe-esque s I, I can't say sphere without giggling but <laughs> dome, it's a dome dome that keeps us here. Yeah. So what is it in the dome that keeps us on the ground if there's no gravity? Um, a, okay, so uh, I think we, we may have talked about this on a previous podcast, but um, ants really can't, really don't comprehend like our lives and the things that we do. Um, so it would stand to a reason that we can't comprehend certain things that whatever or whomever created us. So we create something, uh, quote unquote, um, quote unquote, gravity as a, a quote unquote explanation as to why we cannot believe planet. So like from an ant's point of view, you're, you're basically saying like they have no understanding of what it is that keeps them, I guess, alive or in a certain, what do I want to say? In a certain like plane and a plane of understanding. They have no idea what keeps them in a certain plane of understanding, but their capacity to understand isn't the same of ours. They don't have the same kinds of brains. We may not have the, uh, how do you, I mean, are you making the assumption that we are the pinnacle of intelligence and that there's nothing else to learn and that we've figured everything out? No. Because scientists, science constantly changes. And science has already proven that the the brains of certain animals is diff very different from ours. So my cat, Gonzo, for example, lives, breathes, eats, and shits and likes to play sometimes. But outside of that, he has no idea what's going on because the development of his brain is lacking what we've developed. Same thing. Because say, um, um, we, okay, we can only comprehend certain much, uh, uh, certain amounts of things as well. We weren't really 
designed for the scope that we have now uh, been um, accustomed to for a few decades. So we can lie to ourselves and say that we see certain things and that we believe certain things when it may not be the uh, the objective uh, truth. You know, I, I can I can agree with you on that one. Okay, let me tell you why. Because there are similarities, whereas we lie with ants. We are very similar to ants in that we are workers. We constantly grow our population and we're builders, right? And we kind of work in colony-esque mannerisms, except for we don't really have a hive mind, mm. unfortunately. Mm, but uh, Are you sure about that? We do. I, I, I would say that there's an energy involved. It all goes back to energy. But going back to what I was saying, we are similar in ants in that we we work, we live, we poop, we sleep, we eat, we, 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 do, we do whatever we want because we can. But outside of that scope, we have the ability to also question why we do this. That's what separates us from ants, from cats, from dogs, from the ability to, it's the ability to cognitively understand yourself as an individual, a, a separate individual from the colony. Okay. Um, all right. So before the round earth, flat earth was the consensus. It was be believed by most on the planet. Um, do you know what uh, what else was also be believed um, as like common knowledge um, throughout time? Lay it on me. Well, people, you know, thought fish were vegetables. People thought that women were responsible for the sex of the baby. That's true. I do remember that. People thought that uh, sneezing um, was like, uh, mean you were possessed by a demon. Uh, That's why they say bless you. Many uh, other things. So, and like I said earlier, science isn't stagnant. It's constantly changing. Um, and what what was established uh, hundreds of y years ago as a quote unquote fact that the, you know, earth was round, but pre previously before that start of his uh, flat and then scientists uh sort of um came, came in and quote unquote debunked that <laughs> i like that you use quote unquote a lot like i mean <laughs> it's like allegedly yeah. <laughs> stormy danley dan dan danley stormy danley stormy daniels allegedly had an affair with donald trump that happened though it's an alleged thing scientists mm -hmm. did debunk it um would you agree that that history is told by the victors and that um what we think of as true may not actually be true yeah there's definitely a lot of there's a lot of factual so stuff scientists can come up with numbers to make something true that isn't true no numbers don't lie why do you say that? Because, okay, so before this podcast, we got done watching a star talk with Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about flat earthers, and they they explained how, like, over 200, 300 years ago, there weren't peer-reviewed articles from scientists to, to discuss. So if somebody was to say, okay, this is, this is how I believe that the gravity exists. This is my explanation of gravity. Nowadays, we have people that ha if you want to get your article public publicized you have to be peer review which means it has to go through numbers and numbers of other scientists that are also in the same field to discuss that and then come back and say this is true or not true so if your numbers are lying somebody will know okay um uh would okay so let's say that uh all right, so we, okay, have you ever, say, um, like, made, like, built something and that, you know, it worked for, for a while, like, it worked for most of the project, but all of a sudden things are to, fa to, fa to fall apart and that kind of had to go back and redo do some things from the ground up? Yeah, yeah, mistakes. So science can work to a certain extent, but um, but uh, still be misled or, or miscalculated in some way. And and the flat earth thing is, is only known on the highest level, so... So the, the grunt uh, workers that do the calculations and stuff may still have a round earth model uh, in mind, but because they haven't actually seen it for themselves, you know, the math still works out and, you know. So, okay. So you're basically telling me that everything I know is a lie. And it would be behoove you to actually question it and not just take someone's word for it, yes. Okay, so explain to me a little bit more about what it is a flat earther believes in. I, I need to know. I, now I need to know. Depends. Like, uh, there are fairly large sections um, that are creationists, I think, uh, you know, believe that God made flat earth and stuff. But what I haven't re really heard much of, surprisingly, was simulation that, you know, we're just some kid art project and you know the like it would have been simpler to just make a flat plane and like create artificial uh, gravity
gravity pro program for around Earth and stuff. So. so, okay. So, by that theory, right? So, we're stuck in a simulation. And there's somebody on the other side of the simulation deciding what our universe looks like. And they've decided that all the other planets, the sun, everything, are round. And that Earth is the only one that's flat. And it's simply because we're living on it. So the goal of the game is to make us believe that we are living on a round planet. I wouldn't say it's a goal. It's, you know, people have thought you know, this has been up for debate for centuries. Round Earth, flat Earth. And I mean, going back to what I said earlier, we can't comprehend a higher being. So we, we don't really know the reason why. I mean, there could be many reasons why, like, I could say that this could be, like, an experiment to be how long, uh, like, this group of people will last, or, or, or what kind of ideas people can formulate under certain condition, uh, you know, the list goes on. That's a really fucked up experiment, I'll be honest with you. Like, if this whole world that we live in is just one big experiment, then, well, you win, I give up. I love spearmint gum, oh man. <laughs> it's one big experiment. Um... Right, so uh, you've heard the the phrase "believe half of what you hear and none of what you see," right? No. Okay, well, it's a pretty common one. Prize you must have been li living under a, a rock, but <laughs> have you ever like looked through a water droplet or like a glass of water and yeah. the and the object was shifted or something? Yes. Or have you looked through a prism and noticed a line was different or something like that? Yeah. M m mirages, how the ground is like wavy and distorted, so you can't trust your eyes. So when they take these cameras up into space it's being filtered through a lens how can you trust what what the lens is looking through what the that what is being filtered through the lens is true hmm okay so I kind of wish I had a better explanation for this but it's mostly due to light okay so my idea and, and, and I appreciate that the devil's advocacy here I really do it's amazing but if if the world was just based off of a lie I I probably would have like thrown in the towel long ago um I don't I, I don't how to make you believe in light and how it refracts during certain things exactly and it can be fooled it's trick no it's not it's not a trick your eyes can be fooled they're foul they're they're okay well even your eyes even your eyes have a refraction lens in them so if your eyes if you can't trust your own eyes then i don't know who you can trust i don't know what you it, can trust exactly that's what i'm saying okay <laughs> okay so if uh, there's like a question on the back of my mind that i'm trying to put into cognitive words that doesn't make me sound like a complete asshole but everyone on this planet is just trying to figure out how we are alive so through that we have certain sciences that can prove or disprove certain aspects of our life i.e. gravity, light, sound, atoms, energy, everything. Everything in existence. And without that factor, then what do we have? We don't have the ability to understand ourselves. So, what you're providing for me, in, in, in my idea, is an ultimate, an ultimate answer to something that just doesn't make sense. Now, does it not make sense because from a young age we've all been indoctrinated in, into thinking a certain way, so after years of conditioning it would stand to a reason that the contrary opinion would sound crazy and, and farcical? Yes and no. I would say that it is a smart idea to be a skeptic no matter what because with skepticism becomes a better understanding. And you are not skeptical. so I am skeptical of everything. Not, and not flat, flat earth. Not, not around earth though. No, because I've been, okay, I've been fed lots of information that says otherwise and that information makes sense. Right, because they presented it in a certain way to appeal to what you've already been told. And so it's it, confirmation bias. And Flat Earth was disproved like 500 years ago. I'm, I have no idea what the exact time, but it was disproved. That's the point. That's why it didn't get farther. If it and, was proven, it would have been, the, the history would have changed. So going back to your history thing, you know, history is written by the winners, right? Yes. So obviously the winner was Round Earth. Flat Earth disproved itself 
through science. That's what I'm saying. The muscle of round earth had gobs more muscle than flat earth because it just didn't make sense. So it was, okay, so um, events and things on this planet aren't stagnant and what was believed to be true may change. Okay, so then let me let me refocus again. All, all things that were quote unquote fact have changed or, or most things that Which were- Which is a part of science, like you said, which is a good thing. So the, so earth is around no looking in, into it because because uh everything's been peer reviewed and 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 uh people in higher uh po- positions have de- have de- deemed it unnecessary to further look into it is that what you're saying okay garrison i have a question for you and for those of you that don't see this i am holding a piece of paper garrison i want you to tell me if this piece of paper is flat or if it's a certain other thing like what is this what is this piece of paper flat okay now if i take this other piece of paper and take it to somebody else are they also going to tell me it's flat yeah most likely. okay so that is what peer review means okay yeah. that is an explanation that but most this people thing, haven't gone to space though so they're taking someone's true. word for it but enough people have gone to space to say yes also like buzz like buzz aldrin and uh there have been uh videos and stuff um with with uh with like a certain secret camera crew and other astronauts when they're when they've been presented some flat earth evidence they they're really they want to end the interview and and you know they're really defensive and stuff so what's that about okay who are you talking about because i know there's a huge conspiracy about us not having to have gone to the moon in 1969 because people believe that stanley kubrick filmed it and it was just all filmed as a way to end the Cold War. What was your question? Who, 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 who are these people? Who like, are the, who are what people? Who are the people that believe that we don't? We've never, we've never been to space. Like, we've never flat earther and and some other round earther. Okay. I mean, you don't know that though. So you're, we keep going back to this. You're just taking someone's word for it. But what if it's my goal to go to space one day? So I have to kind of believe a little bit that the Earth is round in order to go to space. Why? I have to. I want to go to space. Don't you want to go to space? Really? You're missing out. Um, wait, so why do you have to believe that the Earth is round to go to space? Because within the flat Earth theory, we live in a dome and we can't get to space. We've right, never so... been to the moon. We've never sent rovers out. We've never taken pictures of other planets. None of that. All right, so you want to believe that it's round so you can go to space. Now, we've had a, a similar theory thing years ago a uh, similar conversation years ago about free will now you want to believe in free will because you want to believe that you have autonomy over your action but that may not be the case so you're willing to believe in a possible fallacy in order to feel comfortable but that's the point though is i find comfortable. comfortability in not knowing whether or not things true so you feel comfortable so ignorance is bliss you no 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 the reason i want to go to space is so that i can learn more about it and so i can experience it myself it's through cognitive kinetic learning that i can learn more about myself and learn more about our species by going to space and then going back um in history what what how do people believe that the earth was created then like what is the time frame like when when do flat earthers come up with this idea that like okay so the reason i'm asking is because through millions and billions of years our earth is like our universe is like 406 billion years old for billions of years our earth and universe has been creating itself through different means like i.e the bang the big bang theory that's a that's a theory it's not a hypothesis which means that it's very well likely that this happened what is it that flat earthers believe that created our universe god okay or very few uh like a uh, a simulation when Pin could have been i mean if, if you're going by the like the christian model it's like six thousand years old or something Right. The earth. So by that idea, that would leave room for homo sapiens to arise. That would leave room for the rise and fall of many empires and for us to find the new world and for us to start a new country. And here we are. Okay. What, where are you going with this? That's not enough explanation for how we got here. There are so many missing aspects to that that just it just doesn't add up. There's holes in there. It's like a bad movie. It's a very bad movie. It's a bad movie. What do you mean? It's like, okay, the movie Gravity. Did you ever see that movie? Yes, and that's actually, I want to bring that up too. 
Okay, so that movie had so many holes in it. I was like running out of the room, running back into the room and being like, no, this, no, no, no. I was just so angry at the fact that people made this movie to a point where it just made people scared to go, scared to go to space. And that's, that's one of my, one of my biggest things with Hollywood is they make space seem like it's a scary, it's a scary place. I don't, I don't appreciate that. But it couldn't be true though. I mean, see, you're, you're wanting to believe in a possible lie just to feel comfortable like it, it very well could be a dangerous place but you don't want it to be i feel like there's more comfortability in believing that we live in a dome because that means that we're a safe like womb type area that are, are we though because let's say um we are i think that this works with both uh, a a creationist model or a, a simulation model. So like say for uh, a creationist model. Okay, so God created a flat earth, a pretty simple standard uh, shape, much more simple than a sphere. Um, and he did not make all of space, just the dome, which means that potentially has finite abilities, meaning that it, and also the inconsistencies in the Bible, it could stand to reason that God is a fallible being um, and, and the whole, uh, God made us in his image. We are human. God mm -hmm. could be human. Um, so creationism and simulation could be one and the same, meaning that, uh, yeah, we are limited. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, I forgot where I was going with that. The womb. I'm talking about the womb. Like, right. Oh, right. You're right. Right. So the womb. So keep keeping that in mind, um, we could be tossed away at any moment. We are still at, at the whim of some of a being's, um, motives that we do not know or understand. You know, it's like a child, uh, getting bored with its toys. We can just be tossed away. Okay. But before we go on, uh, let's bring up the gravity clip. Wow, that's still relevant. Uh, making of gravity there. All right. Um, okay, play it on normal speed. Uh, we're not going to watch the whole thing. I just want you to um, maybe keep going. Um, keep going. All right, I'll go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Go back a little bit. Stop. Okay, stop. You see that? Did you how they sort of created that fa that fabrication, that illusion? Um, NASA uh, is in billion dollar industry. They have resources to create fa fabrications and artificial gravity simulations. So it can be fake. But why? But why? Yeah. What would be the goal to do? If if we were living in somebody else's reality, then wouldn't we ultimately just come to terms with that and move on as a species and try to find ways to overcome that? Okay. So once Round Earth was accepted, so Round Earth was taught to people who probably didn't really understand it, but they were taught it in such a way that they were convinced. So um, they started to believe it because it sounded good and it seemed and it seemed to make sense with their their limited understanding so for for hundreds of years that was accepted but once we actually had technology and the ability to think otherwise you discover otherwise thought that it oh it, it is flat <laughs> and and they you know people are hubris beings they don't want to be told that they're wrong so they kept up so they maintained the lie and thus continue to drown earth to our children i feel like that is so <laughs> messed up oh god so okay so somebody was like, oh, I'm so wrong. I should lie to everyone I know because I am wrong. And now we must live in this lie for centuries. That is what you're saying. That, that's what you're saying. Yes. All right. So when are we going to invent the, the time travel machine so I can go back and smack a person? Um, I, don't, I don't even know if, <laughs> if uh, time travel is <laughs> possible now. <laughs> Okay, so Garrison, I'm so glad that you're playing devil's advocate for this. Do you have anything else that you can throw at me that I can just oh, be like, no? I have, I have tons of notes left. Oh, wow. Okay, so bring it on so I can just say no after every single one of them. All right, so... Um, this is on NASA's, this is on NASA's, uh, website. So, you know, it's real, it's quote unquote real. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to show her something. All right. So th this is, um, the 2002 photo of earth. They call it uh, blue marble two, uh, blue marble one, uh, appeared in 1979. But this is 2002, and you see your Earth, right? You see it. I see the Earth. I see good. North America. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to zoom in here. Now, find the other image. All right, so this. This is the same image here. This is this image. Uh, these clouds are identical. Look at this. Look at that. See that little shape there? Yes, I that do. shape there? Yes. Look at that. And what else, what else do we have here? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that shape. And this is off of NASA's this website. Is, this is NASA. Look at that. That's the exact same shape. So they're fabricating 
you know why did, why do they need to fabricate it why can't why can't this be be the real thing you know why do they have to doctor it up to show it to us so they're maybe it's to cover up all the trash that's in the ocean well that could be their uh their their uh way into showing that we need to be more considerate towards the earth and and but they're not doing that they're they're this is a fabrication this is fake Okay, anything else? Yes. See how these earths are different colors? This is the that 2002 image I showed you. Mm -hmm. Why can't they pick a color? Why do they keep changing stuff up? Okay, so consistent. it looks like there's a 1972, a 1997, 2002, 2007, 2017, is that? 2000, 2007, both 2007. 2007. 2012, 2013, and 2015. Now, I don't know what you're seeing because I see... The the same planet and with different colors and there's shadows there's definitely shadows colors not necessarily the ocean is the same color the earth's uh, geography is the same color the antarctica north hole are the same color I, I i'm not saying what you're saying kidding see this sure i guess you want to see what you want to see but okay. um you know, why why would they need to doctor the earth if it, you know why, why don't they just show it as is i mean sure uh the earth Earth is um, made of composite images, but you know, just work with what you got and, and not. You know what? That is a good point. I didn't even think about that. Like going back to that image, the the 2002 one you yeah. said, that could be just a satellite image that had to take lots and lots of pictures in order just to get one good one. So those clouds could be meshes of satellite images that kind of went over each other. So this image is rendered from probably like a hundred or so pictures to make one one big one so that could be one reason why those clouds look the same okay but why is it only in this area not up here not anywhere else because clouds move in certain ways there's cycles through the throughout the world that cycle clouds cycle water cycle weather everything um yeah but why aren't these moving? because it moves slower up there the earth's equator is actually moving faster than it is towards the poles Okay. Um, the there's over 2,200 sa satellites orbiting the planet, and space is filled with, with stars. You know, we can on a on a clear night we can stars. Where are the stars in the satellite? Those might not have been able to capture from space, even though we can see those on Earth. It might be due to some exposure issues. They wanted to get a picture of the Earth, not of other things. But I want to see Earth in its majesty. So why not show it uh, accented with the beautiful stars? Satellite? Satellite. The beautiful stars and satellites. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, nobody wants to see a bunch of trash in space. And like you said, NASA has a $106 billion industry. I don't know. All right. Um, now, a common argument against Flat Earth is, you know, what Neil brought up um, was about the boats, right? The boats. Do you know? I don't think he said that in the segment. Yeah, he, what he, was it? He was talking about how the boats go over, like they go over when they... When oh, you... over the horizon. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see past the horizon because it's round, right? No. Yeah. No. When you take uh take a camera, uh watch a boat, um put put on, put on your zoom, you can still see the uh boat. So it's not actually going over a curve. It's your perspective. So uh It would um, it would depend on what kind of lens you're looking to. Because if you're looking through like a wide angle lens, it might pick up something different. What? Yeah, wide angle. Why would it pick up something different? Because the lenses can are look over curves then, is that what you're saying? They're able to picture other things that our eyes not. Right, yeah, like uh, something further from our our ability to see. Right, exactly. That, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like the camera. It would be about the camera lens. It wouldn't necessarily about ourselves or about the Earth. Um, okay, uh, perspective and weather conditions can can make the difference in what you can see. So that the argument against Flat Earth is that why can't I see China from here? Well, you can't. your eyes can't see that far, and uh, there are different planes on the Earth for one you know it's not like a flat brick or something there's 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 dimensions <laughs> to it and, and uh the weather you know hu uh, humidity and and uh smog and stuff can can um, determine what you see so. yeah i think it's like on a good day we can probably see like 100 miles out if there's like nothing else but that's that's to get to the horizon all right uh your buddy neil okay uh he basically you My know fuck boy neil yeah. <laughs> He says that it's an oblate spheroid, right? 
oblique? Th- oblate. Oblate. Yeah. I'm not sure what oblate means. So it's like a, say it's pear shape. No. Yeah, what? That's, that's what he said. Um, He said that's pear shape, but how come for decades it's been completely round? We have uh, round globes that, that they show in schools. Um, uh, oh, no. This was explained in science classes. No, he said, he, he said from his mouth, pear shape. I mean, it would make sense that our earth look more oblique, not oblate. Oblate said oblate. Well, maybe that's a scientific term that I don't fully understand, but it's definitely not looking like a pear. That's what he, that's his word. So, oh, so you don't be believe that's pear shape. It's from him. It's from your guy. Doesn't mean I have to believe it. It's, oh, so that's where you draw, 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 draw your line. Is that, <laughs> is that pear shape? I think that if you can't cherry pick. If no, see the world changes shape every day. Just like our brains change shape, just like we change shape, every day everything is changing. That's one reason why our Earth has like really bad earthquakes and plates that move and stuff like that because our Earth is always changing. So it might be oblique one day and oblique another day. It's never going to be flat, but it'll be round. Okay, how do you explain the flat hor- horizon lines? Like when you're, say, at sea and the flat... Well, it's the same thing, like, if you're on land, isn't it? Like, if you're right, yeah. literally just on a plane, just a round sphere, you're always going to see flat as our perspective. We are t- too small to see how large our sphere is. Okay, but by the measurements that scientists made up... <laughs> 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 I'm glad that, we can laugh about this. That um the uh so there's one inch uh okay so for every mile there is an eight inch drop or or eight inch curve right so you know what he might have meant oblate out water because without water on our planet our our geography of the planet looked way different it's like here I've got an inch. that's like without water and that's that's pear shaped it's more pear shaped than which is uh, with water which, which is much more closer to flat than it is round. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, it, uh, it's like a gumball chewed out. See, you, you tried to, 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 to shift my, my mind somewhere else because <laughs> I forgot. So. <laughs> Redirection. Right, yeah, uh, eight inch drop for every mile or, or curb for every mile. So if we are at the ocean or at um, or at a place that's like a flat plane, we would, um, you know, see some curvature. Yeah, you might. If it were round, but we don't see that. But if it was curving, you still wouldn't, I mean, you still wouldn't see it. Like you just wouldn't because with the curve, everything goes down. With flat, you would, you just probably would, wouldn't see past a certain mile. Like you'd have to have somebody standing on the opposite side of whatever and then you'd have to be like okay walkie talkie time and then see how far it is that you have to travel in order to see them to still see them so after a while they would just disappear like they would look like they were falling down into the ground what's falling down the, okay so say you had a, a person standing on s- some sort of plane and we're talking about like a completely mm-hmm. flat surface right yeah. no mountains no other geological um features so say you, you're standing right here and I, I decide to walk away from you and I have to walk you to tell when it is I don't see you anymore. On a flat surface, you'd probably see them for a longer distance than you would if it was a round surface because after a round surface, it would just disappear under the horizon. On a flat surface, you might still see them but for longer distance but we uh, don't have that. Yeah, this goes back to the weather conditions and... Uh, but and yeah, we're talking about completely clear day, no geography, geological features that'll get in the way nothing has that been tested yeah yeah um uh who was this funded by <laughs> what who was it funded by was it i don't by, have an answer by, uh, round earth it was probably funded by somebody that didn't know the answer to whether or not it was round or not so okay um but would it stand to reason that some scientists um and the, even some like theologians say that they try to look for information that that would reaffirm their own their current belief sure because you know, um, you know, there are um, like uh, re- researchers and things like that that'll say that a vegan diet is bad for you. Oh yeah. Um, so they had so like certain people have certain dogs in in their fight, and they want to push an agenda or something. Anyway, back to uh, Neil. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, he said it's an oblate spheroid pear shape, which uh, that's pretty pear shaped. The image that you showed me. Not flat, though, but, you know. Without water. (laughs) This is without water. 
he, so, so, so he says, um, I blame the education system that can graduate someone into adulthood who cannot tell the difference be, be, between what is and wait, what is and is not true about this world. Um, he explained that it's easy to think of education as, as taking a child's empty mind and pouring information into it. So, uh, wouldn't you say that's what most of us did at that, um, in, in our childhood? We were poured information and accepted it? And For the most part, there were lots of it that I didn't agree with. Oh, and Round Earth isn't one of them? No, because it's scientific proof. Okay, there's lots of things that can be argued with. There, I think history is a lot of it. But history also has to do with people. People lie a lot. And you're willing to believe. I mean, wh why Why them? Okay, so you, I mean, you, your argument ends once you start saying that uh, uh, zodiac signs are, you know, can, uh, can tell your personality. It can identify certain aspects you of personality. You said I was a cusp, a, cusp, a cusp Virgo, which would mean that I'm towards the end of August. I'm mid-August. That argument doesn't stand. But you, you can't are. make up stuff. You can't make up things. <laughs> It's about personality, though. That's not science. So there is so, some so science there. aspects to it, but our brain is more complicated than we can understand right now. Okay, um, there was this, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find it after this, but like a Virgo, sp or not a Virgo, um, a Zodiac uh, astrological specialist, and he was assigned a task to guess the um, guess what, what sign 12 people were. He got like probably not even three right. Like he's the expert. See, it's bogus man it's, it's <laughs> but the it's fact anecdotal. that we the fact that there are similarities in people that are born in certain times of the year is is pretty evident how's it evident because with me like born in february 26th i have very similar traits to people that are also born in that in that time frame of like february 19th to march 22nd or something like that okay could you say that that um and say something like the myers-briggs you read it and and pick out the the things that you relate to and disregard everything else. So you're trying to uh, fit the puzzle piece into something that doesn't fit. I'm trying to understand. By uh, pseudoscience? Yes. By, well, not just by pseudoscience. By understanding myself and by understanding other people through myself. But... Are you doing that? Because you could just be reading it and and saying, oh, uh, this person um, has the traits of this, even though they also have have certain traits, maybe even more traits of another uh, category. But because they have two traits from, from this, then they are that. But would you lie that you're a Leo Virgo cusp? What cusp? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a cusp, I'm mid, baby, I'm, aren't you? I'm August 17th. I'm okay, in the middle of so August. So you're a, a straight Leo then. Yeah, but you called me a cusp a few months ago. Yeah, because you might also be a cusp it also depends on what the astrological like lineup was the day you were born <laughs> Okay, but you don't, uh, so you won't even consider Flat Earth, though? No. <laughs> and you don't believe in God? I didn't say I don't believe in God. You said that? I During our God podcast. I would say that God is, I think it's a personal thing. I don't think it's... So you believe the words of fallible men um, uh, in something that you have not seen yet? I think fallible is way too strong of a word for that sentence. Because fallible would mean that everything that they've said is can be disproven and it can't. What's that? What's that? Say that again. Fallible. Like, if they were fallible, then that would mean that what they're saying is disproven. But I can't. Okay, Neil also said, <laughs> at no time are you actually trained how to think, how to analyze, how to process information, how to judge information. Now, this kind of goes back to our learning podcast from a couple weeks ago. Right. I stumped you for a few moments on um, if you believe life is precious, why do you believe in pro-choice? Pro now, I stumped you meaning that you have not thought through completely your premise that um in a uh, pro-choice meaning that there could be other things that you have not cl cl clearly thought through and um have not clearly analyzed but i also said that i don't have any rule to say what anybody else does with their body like and i don't have any rule to say just because you're a flat earther i don't live okay but you have the arrogance to say that these people are crazy or dumb they are yeah but that doesn't mean like their life is impressive I think that's that's kind of what you're now, saying, right? Is it more foolish to d 
disregard something that you have not actually looked into, but only looked into one side of the argument, meaning that you have, that's just an echo chamber. You're, you're uh, recycling, uh, your, your ideas are cyclical and coming from the same place, meaning that it's the same well of information, meaning that some information could be left out, meaning that you're not getting the actual full picture. You know what? I'm okay with that though, because my spectrum of learning is very different from your spectrum of learning. But from what I've learned, these things are right. From something that you have not actually seen or tested for yourself. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm in science classes, all right? And um, which uh, are the same science books that uh, Neil has read and all of these other scientists who may not have your best interest at heart. What would be their what would be their motives? Okay, because they've studied years, most of, of their lives, and to they don't want to start from scratch, start new with a flat Earth model. Because it's dumb. <laughs> you can't say it say it's dumb if you haven't looked into it. You sound like somebody I used to date that's like you know you should try polyamory because you've never tried it and you can't say that you wouldn't like it if you've never tried it. I I was actually gonna bring up a similar thing, but uh, the argument against that premise is that. Um, it's more in, instinctual and that you know on an instinctual level that that's not what you want to do or that is what you want to do or that something is or isn't right right um uh well, what how did this start what were we... my my relationship with somebody that was like oh how do you know right okay so if we haven't done it then how, how do you do know if you haven't if haven't experienced it or you don't like it well that's like that's like a personal thing right this is something that has been proven by other people just because I haven't done it doesn't mean that I mean okay just like the God theory just because we haven't seen God doesn't mean he doesn't exist I can't prove or disprove God nobody can but there are so many people that believe in God and that's perfectly fine it is okay God but I don't but I'm not gonna sit here and try to disprove God because I can't tell you whether or not he exists but you can't say that 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 they're dumb though I can I have this we they've live done, in a free they've done more stuff than I'm mean, they okay sure they may be wrong but the, the fact that they actually tried and did it for themselves and not to take in the word from the word from someone else and tested it sure they may be wrong but the fact that they did it proves that that they're willing to uh to think outside the box and not accept what you what they've been told okay be so here's a nice term for for these people they're creative okay mm -hmm. <laughs> when somebody doesn't agree with you and they have they have done things to try to disprove the science you say oh yeah they're all very creative you've got a creative mind why okay. don't you think that it's wrong to to just uh agree with what you've been told and not actually put the work in to test it I'm, no I, mean, I believe that i think it is a sincere thing to try and learn about your your world and the world that we live in and our existence as a, as a species it is and you're not doing that though you, oh, you're just taking the do not tell it. me what i am not doing mm, i am mm, no i am doing this every single day this is what okay sure okay this is pretty much um in leagues with uh christianity christianity is the like the mark the most um the hot the highest uh taught religion um it's been you know dominated for centuries except for muslim muslim i said that most of the world okay uh now most of these people most of them uh have not actually done the legwork to test if their god was true they just have believed it because it's what they've been brought into what they've been indoctrinated into right and um and they believe you know through you know there are scientific christians that claim that they can prove god and that um and that prayer is true and that the word of god can be tested um uh and sci scientists claim that the earth is round uh so what i'm getting at is most most uh people believe that the earth is round and don't question it most people believe that um god is true don't question it now for those that do question it they actually question it and think about it sure they may be right they may be wrong but the fact that they've actually tried to look for it for themselves is admirable yeah and you know what's even more admirable is if that if you've come across something that is worth it that is a surprise to your own existence oh yes i disproved god oh yes i proved god then that is admirable to also share that experience no one has yet been able to say oh my god i found out that the earth is flat no it's a theory no it's not even a theory it's a it's a hypothesis because hypotheses have not yet been proved a theory can be proved do you remember um uh that jim carrey movie uh 
I want to say Tracy Phillips, but that's definitely not right. Um, but what is the, what's the premise of it? Or he's like uh, Scott Truman or something. The the, the Truman oh, Show. Oh, the Truman Show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was a line in there um, that uh, that said. Um, we accept the reality of the world in which we are presented. So we accept, I mean, you, I mean, there's a pile of evidence from, from you, from this podcast that you're comfortable. You're, you don't want to know. And I don't want to know that the earth flat. No, I do want to know. I do want to know that the earth is round. You don't want to know. <laughs> I think you're telling me that I don't want to know. You're too close to it. You're too close. Okay. A few, Personally? a few months ago, a few months ago, I know I said that the closer you are to something, the harder it is to see the bigger picture. The fact that you are unwilling, you're unshakable, you're you're uh, incorrigible, and that you are not willing to budge, not willing to move, because that you think that you have the answers. Hold on, notice, folks, that Garrison has been personally attacking me for like the last twenty minutes, but I have yet to tell him that his beliefs are wrong. But it's okay, Garrison. I still believe that, and you're right to believe what you want. But that's arrogant to think that to call someone foolish. I mean, really, to call someone foolish to to actually I think looking for it. What's worse? is if you you are wise in your own motives but you don't share them not not to not to call somebody foolish you can call somebody foolish and tell them no this is the right answer this is the right way because you know because it's yes because somebody else knows better that's kind of a good point because you don't want to be in a room full of people that are just as smart as you are you want to be in a room full of people that are smarter than you are but how do you know who's smarter you find them you just do like garrison you're smarter than me in a lot of things but i also have a lot of things that i can give to you like that's kind of the point okay so but how 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 do we know that they're smarter i mean how how do we know that they have the answers that we don't when you are proven wrong okay all right so i think that this is a um a pretty uh debated topic currently in our current um uh world is that um about the number of genders we have (laughs) oh yeah yeah and uh you know we still don't really know right um that's still you know still lots of um uh words about that which, which uh, back and forth and maybe you know in five years ten ten years we'll have an answer but i think in, i think in another 20 years yeah. that may change i think I, eventually like our world would just have hermaphrodite right and same go goes for uh rachel Do- dolezal do you remember that um she claims that oh she's mexican is black that that? black yeah okay. and people okay Currently, people are more accepting of, of uh, trans people, but what about transracial, right? Like, uh, why is that that so m- mocked, but tra- trans is more m- more accepting? We just don't know now. Um, you know what? I really think that I don't give a shit what she think. It's not my business. As long as you're not hurting somebody else. What if you are a, your... a flat earther? Then that's what you try to <laughs> No, I'm okay with flat earthers. For those of you who are flat earthers, I'm okay with you. I just don't believe in thoughts. That's okay. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, can you like keep up the, the conversation while I pull up something that uh, ties into it? Uh, yeah. So, so just keep the um, converse, the conversation about thought up a little bit. Okay. Okay. So. I really am kind of concerned with our world as much as other people were should be because one of our most famous scientists Stephen Hawking recently passed away and you know he he went to space guys he was in space and he got to experience you know without gravity and I think that's amazing that's beautiful but without these scientists who are making a difference in how we perceive the world then there's there's really no there's really no reason for us to believe in anything honestly just believe in believe in what you what you think you should believe and try not to hurt other people doing it you heard it here folks first um here folks what you hit here first folks Folks. right you i said that right the first time right i think you did Oh man, I messed up. All right, so <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is basically what um what uh, Sarah's telling you. No. <laughs> Who is that? Is that Prince? No. Yep. That. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. What else do I have here? Um, oh, well, there's some clips we got. Right. All right. So, Dome Earth. Uh, they believe in a Dome Earth, and that. Uh, so, on a round Earth model, can you pull up a round Earth? Let's pull up a round Earth. <clears throat> 
So on a round earth, Antarctica would be on the bottom, right? Right? Here's a perfect one. Right, so on a round earth, Antarctica would be on the bottom, but on a flat earth, the Antarctica surrounds the plate earth. Now, um, it's like a, sh a sheet of ice, uh, thousands of feet thick, thousands of feet thick, um, uh, hundreds of feet high. That's the reason why boats don't fly off. Um, and that's why uh, so many, uh, um, it, it's a very secret there. It's a very top secret. It, it's a very dangerous. It's a very you, hostile. You, you can actually go there if you want, though. It's just it is very hostile it's hard to get a boat down and uh, there's lots of uh, uh military uh there's really not military yeah there are mm. yeah there's lots of classified um areas and oh why is it so hostile maybe because our creator didn't want us to reach the end and created an environment in which it, it would be hard to to uh arrive and leave it's where he keeps all the code Exa exactly it's the back end yeah there's lots of um, um secrets there and um yeah like secrets says that there is only genders huh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was just making a joke. The Earth is only two genders. Yeah, there's like secret that there's only two genders. Oh. <laughs> uh, right. And okay, so I showed you that that um that uh video before we started with um sun, right? Yeah. And yeah, so the sun is actually much closer than we think. It's um it's uh just right above the Earth, and it's much smaller, and and it goes around the Earth, not not uh um yeah, it goes around the Earth like a clock would, right? Like the hands on a clock would. And and, um, yeah, do you have any rebuttal on that? No, you can keep going. I'm gonna talk. Well, that's all I had, really, but, um, how... Okay, so if we lived on a round Earth, why don't fl planes fly off, fly off our planet? atmosphere atmosphere what do you mean i mean that there are layers of atmosphere that the sphere in it and that does the sun and that allow us to have oxygen uh okay how no but how do we stay level do does the do the pilots adjust their steering to like compensate for that i'm a little bit confused about your question raise it do you have like a round thing in your ball like a ball does it have to be perfectly round it's like a so I have this ball thing here now. Does okay. So why doesn't the plane fly off like this? Oh, okay. Well, because they level it with an altitude, and that altitude is a certain amount of miles or kilometers above the Earth's surface. So with that, they can manage to keep in a certain level of the atmosphere. Okay, so so they're changing altitude. Is that what you're saying? Yes. But it's so, still round. So well, the okay. So the altitude keeps them hundred kilometers above the earth's surface at all times okay if uh okay so they're traveling hundreds of miles and like we talked about earlier uh they would need to adjust their their steering wheel for every eight minutes that they're no in, in the air. because in the air it's a different plane it's a wider plane they don't have to do that every eight minutes why not because it's a wider plane not like plane as in like the flying machine i mean plane as in field of plane their ability to stay at that level would mean that they have measurement systems in that plane that keep them within a certain altitude level if they go above or below that level there's probably some kind of warning symbol that says oh hey you should probably you know get back on get back onto that plane but they would still need to adjust uh their their uh vertical motions right yeah um there is a video of a guy that brings a level onto a plane stays flat do you know why because he's in space well not he's in space no. but he's in the atmosphere it would still change i mean you can just do this and the the, the level would still change yeah so what does that mean all right so um the they stay flat i don't because if they would they would okay so so you know how a level works right right yeah so if they're going uh, like a 14 hour hour flight that level would change no it wouldn't no it wouldn't it would not change how do you know because because of the plane that they're in with this level only being a small aspect of the plane that they're in it wouldn't mean that the level would change with how that works because gravity works in all directions it doesn't work just at one angle so for that to happen it would literally mean that gravity would work on certain as certain certain parts of the on the planet so if the earth the earth was round and Wait, so gravity is omnidirectional yes why don't we fly up well it's omnidirectional towards the mass the mass that it's the gravitating towards the mass that it's gravitating towards well that's that's a really bad explanation but it's like the mass Mass is what's keeping gravity there. So, uh, so mass and gravity are uh, are a tandem. They're um, they one do have the other. yes. So what's the so what's it pulling on? So, the, so what's the level pulling on? Mm. Like if it were round, what's the level pulling on? And why doesn't it move? You're okay. You're asking me to explain why the level stayed level. And did he hold it level the entire time? He put it on the, the table. He had his uh, stopwatch there. He 
it in real time. Okay, so why wouldn't the level move, right? Mm -hmm. Because gravity, being, it is always pointing up, always. That's why. But how because do you know even that, even at the equator, there is an up. Like we have an up here. So right now in this room, if I put a level here on this table, it is always going to point up if the if the table is level. In China, it would do the same thing. In Antarctica, it would do the same thing. That does not prove flat Earth though. All right, uh, I think I have one more video to show you. Um, pull that up. This pretty much uh, goes back to what we started with. Um, not that one. Uh, yeah. Felix Baumgart got Gertner, full GoPro. All right, we don't have to watch the whole thing. Uh, we, we can watch this at uh, sped up. Um, so. All right, so this guy's basically just skydiving from space. All right, stop, stop here, stop here. You see how the Earth is uh, sort of concave? It is a GoPro, which means it has a fisheye lens that can capture wide angle angle. Okay. Um, and what, yeah, which goes back to what we started with. Uh, you're seeing it through a filter. Uh, key, okay, play play again. All right, see, look, stop, stop there. See how it's flat and like it's round now. So it's constant, which means that it, it means that he's con his motion and his 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 place in the plane of field that he is in is constant, not the Earth. Well, it, the Earth is always moving, but. Um, but okay, so could it be so that both a round Earth and a flat Earth exist simultaneously? All right. We've talked about this a few times about vibrations, about uh, belief. Uh, we exist in certain realms of frequency uh, and vibration. So one, uh, you could see a flat Earth through whatever uh, pseudoscience you're willing to believe, and I could believe in a flat Earth that whatever factual science. You're <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, so we could both be be right. Yeah, and, we could both be right and wrong. You have to also acknowledge that you could be wrong too. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's um. Uh. That's the theory of flat Earth. Is that it? Do you have anything else? No. I mean, I mean, I really just want to like be like, yo, if we ever come across a flat Earther, if y'all any flat Earthers out there want to come on and talk to us about what you believe, then please. Yeah, I think I represented them pretty well. I I hope I did. I I probably did okay. Like maybe in terms of action i'd say like a b you did a pretty good job well there was oh that's what that's what i wanted to bring up um all right so there's this uh oh man the e the other uh, it's like e e s s a or something I think they're like this british um uh like nasa like the british nasa or something and or i i think it may be esa but there was this video of uh of an astronaut but in the background there was like fake version with like a with like a fake background had a tennis ball in his hand string with, with like a like a like a stick attached to it. it was like doing this um like he was putting stick around tennis? no like stick like um tennis ball was attached stick okay yeah it was like doing this it was like waving air yeah he was like waving but why do you have a tennis ball attached stick um all right okay so a round earther may say that there's evidence that we've been space because you know we've seen astronauts in their pod but haven't you also seen movies okay so for example inception the hotel scene with the with the revolve with the moving room stuff right uh and in gravity again uh this can all be fabricated there's really no way to say really. Hold on, can I can I bring something up that's kind of interesting? Side note, um, fiction is based on reality. <clears throat> or sometimes truth stranger than fiction. Yes. All right. Um, well, that that's all, folks. Um, <laughs> this was uh, yeah. I gotta say that you know I, I can't say this enough because there's a stigma behind flat Earth and really most of you. I mean, if you're gonna criticize a flat Earther, you can't really say anything because you haven't. Most of you haven't even looked out for it for it for yourself and you're taking someone else's word for it. Or you haven't studied don't science. Be, don't be sheep. Do your own work do research don't be lazy study science yeah stay uh, in school yeah st study um science also study free thinkers that do not uh sub subscribe to uh, the mainstream uh sciences because they may be paid off but also be a skeptic and not just of what people are telling but of everything yeah not just flat earth yeah yeah, yeah not just flat earth be uh, a skeptic yeah um that's the only way you can better the world yeah i am okay so i would like to believe like i'm on like uh 80 or so 90 percent uh round earth but like you know you know say in 10 years uh flat hey flat earth I'll, i would be okay i this is what we're doing now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i uh wouldn't surprise um but yeah this was i think one of our best ones it was yes. great yeah this was our penultimate uh podcast tune in uh like in two weeks or is that next week i don't know for, uh, next week for, for um, uh, poop for yeah. oh yeah we're doing poop we're one talking about poop yeah <laughs> yeah the theory of poop bye guys